and there's a potential for more to fall down, and there's also potential here. Look out, look out, look out. Yes, that's a perfect example. That's a perfect example of what I'm speaking about. That little slide was enough to bury you right up to your eyeballs and kill you dead. And that's why it's so powerful. The Chilliwack Venter River is one of the most important salmon and steelhead bearing rivers in the province of BC. Millions of dollars are pumped into both the local and provincial economy from commercial and recreational users annually. The number of angler days makes this system the heaviest fished system in the province. A successful hatchery program augments wild runs of fish, drawing anglers from around the world to enjoy the excellent fishing opportunities that abound. The close proximity to Vancouver and easy access to the river makes this river a good choice for recreational anglers. In recent years, a number of problems have developed in this watershed, mainly due to heavy flooding in 1989 and 90, combined with years of poor logging practices. Over the past years, the loss of fishing opportunity, tourist dollars, destruction of fish habitat, and the threat to people and property has become intolerable. The environmental damage has become a major concern with the recent events of January 1997, when large clay sides blocked off the river's flow, and the potential for a catastrophic slide is now realized. The Chilliwack River Action Committee, formed after the slide events of January 27th, is now raising the awareness to the general public and government agencies, encouraging them to get involved. This coalition has the support from 13 bodies and different organizations with diverse interests, yet united with a common goal, which is to secure funding and solutions for better management of the highly prized Chilliwack River watershed. We can no longer be complacent and take our prized resources for granted. The backbone of this great province and the future of British Columbia requires good management. We're not asking for impossible solutions. We're demanding that the necessary steps be taken to ensure the best interests go towards the hard-working taxpayers of BC. Take a few minutes to sign a letter or petition with your concerns. And we thank you. A slide into the Chilliwack River threatens fish and property. Sports anglers in the Chilliwack area are slamming the government tonight, saying it was warned about problems near the Chilliwack River and did nothing. Just south of Chilliwack City Center, three slides have blocked a good part of the Chilliwack River. And as Jazz Johal reports, they are a serious threat to the river's fish habitat. Fishermen call it the Slessy Park Clay Banks. It's a favorite fishing spot for locals and tourists just outside Chilliwack. This morning, the clay bank gave out, plugging the Chilliwack River. A large slump came down. The river was uh, about 90% blocked, and there was about a four to five foot head behind the slide. Has there been a previous history of slides in this area? Yes, there has been, since about, since about 89. Fortunately, the surging river punched its way through before any major flooding damage. However, the slope failure led to clay and silt washing into a sensitive salmon spawning area. In the past two months, three small creeks have been pumping water into the already unstable bluff. Floods a few years ago diverted the river towards the clay bank. Residents have been unsuccessfully lobbying government to re-divert the river. This morning's slide made the entire area dangerous. Well, you can see it falling at, as we speak. And there's large cracks up there, and there's a potential for more to fall down. And there's also potential here. Look out, look out, look out. Yes, that's a perfect example. That's a perfect example of what I'm speaking about. There's also a threat to life here. Okay, this area is frequented by fishermen, and there is a, a real threat to life here. You don't have to tell these Department of Fisheries officials on the lower left of your screen. As they went to investigate this morning's slide, another hit.
she sealed right off, but we didn't think that that was a piece that was going to go. It's this next corner here. We were kind of watching because it was starting to really come off of there, but then that whole no, front piece. cracked up in that corner. Well, it's been dropping off of there for a bit there, right yeah. on this first corner. Like After the second slide, the water flow subsided. Eventually, the river punched through the wall of trees and silt. Local fishermen, however, were concerned about damage to salmon stocks. As far as I'm concerned, every every bloody fish that's in the river is going to have a hard time surviving now as same as uh, the eggs that are in the river they're all dead same as the fry anything from here down is just shot one resident in the area has been evacuated emergency officials are keeping a close eye on the unstable bluff residents of an area near the chilliwack river are beginning to worry about flooding now that a number of slides have come down into the river over the past few days, at least three slides have blocked some of the river flow just south of the city center. As Jazz Johal reports, local fishermen say they've been warning the government about this for years. It's the talk of the town. The only thing fishermen at Fred's tackle shop are concerned about is yesterday's slide at the Slessy clay banks. It's about time we do something. Right over the river. Big time. Yeah. Time to get it done. They're angry because they say environment and fisheries officials did not listen to them, and as a result, these clay banks are sliding into the Chilliwack River, bringing silt and clay, which is slowly destroying fish habitat. We've seen the habitat of the lower river absolutely decimated with siltation, and when they did the, uh, the uh, flood protection where they dug holes, they found layers of clay in there, which kills the uh, percolation and aeration of the river, and that's vital to fish, fish life. It also cuts off water flow, as yesterday's second slide proved the bank still remains unstable. Two hours later, an even bigger slide hit. It brought with it mud, debris, and trees. It also diverted the Chilliwack River to the far left side of the bank. Fishermen and residents want the river diverted to its previous route before floods changed the river's path in 1989. Federal and provincial officials who have studied the problem for five years say there's nothing they can do until the bank is stabilized. I appreciate the residents expect more than we've done, but uh, we believe that the measures we've taken have been the correct measures. In this case, it didn't work completely, and we will have to reevaluate. As they reevaluate, the 250 residents of Slessy Park, located downstream from the clay banks, hope more slides won't lead to floods. You know, I've seen huge chunks of road. Uh, get washed out before by the river and I, I realize the power and and uh, you know it's scary Department of Fisheries officials are now doing tests to see if there's any long-term damage to the fish stock after six years of waiting residents hope recent slides will finally lead to solutions 1.5 million cubic meters of clay could slide into the Chilliwack River at any moment and without warning those are the findings of a recent study commissioned by the Fraser Valley Regional District since Monday, four large slides have temporarily blocked a section of the river, and with each slide, residents become more anxious about their safety. At any time and without warning, 150,000 square meters of clay could break free from these banks and block the Chilliwack River. And so when the people who live downstream come to visit, they keep their distance. Well, that little slide was enough to bury you right up to your eyeballs and kill you dead. And that's why it's so powerful, and that's why it's it got the people down the, down the creek so worried. There are many reasons to worry. For one, this is the highest usage river for anglers in D.C. But slides and silt could ruin that by destroying the salmon and steelhead that live here. The problem with this fine clay silt that's running off into the river is that it gets down into the gravel, suffocating all of the salmon eggs and fry. It boils down to in the rivers, the clarity is not there. You just can't fish. So you, lo you lose angling opportunity, and therefore you lose revenue. The problem began in 1989 when heavy rains swelled the Chilliwack River. The immediate damage was to property. The long-term damage was to the clay banks, which began to erode. Eight years of erosion later, there is a greater danger to property and to life than ever before. What we're talking about is this whole narrow valley here, in fact, being blocked, which would create a lake in behind the slide, 
which would at some point let go. And exactly how that would happen, of course, we can't predict that. Uh, but it would be uh, a catastrophic situation. Yeah, is that a major? Not a, not a major, no. no it's the a, solution, no, they say, possible. would cost about $5 million. Money, they agree, should come from the government's massive forest renewal fund. We're all saying this is, this is a problem for all of us, and it meets the envelopes we believe under forest renewal. So we have a, we have a collective aim here. Now we sort of, during crisis, we've all come together and, uh, and, and, and address this problem. Clearly, this is what forest renewal money should be used for. Forest renewal needs to make friends with the people of B.C. I can't think of a better project uh, than getting in here and stopping this thing. There was some good news today. The province may not have responded yet, but the federal government has agreed to send fisheries officers to the site on Monday to assess the damage. That's Ron. Are we going to protect the Chilliwack River Valley to preserve a scene like this? Are we going to be able to preserve all the recreational opportunities the Chilliwack River Valley has to offer to our children and our children's children? Or are we just going to sit back and do nothing while the major slides that happened on January 27th and in past years keep happening? Slides that threaten human life and property, cause environmental damage, limit fishing opportunities, and destroy fish habitat. The Chilliwack River Action Committee says no. We are not going to stand for the inaction of our government and government ministries. Do nothing attitudes that will allow scenes like these to continue. The Chilliwack River Action Committee will be a positive working force in getting government agencies on board to deal proactively to solve the difficulties in looking after our river. We ask you for your support. <laughs>